Hello, welcome to Die Rolling. I'm the ever excitable Adam, and today I'm boxing Chronicles of Dragon Age of Darkness, The Ruin of Lucanor, which is an adventure pack. Um, so there's some different kind of expansions you can get for this game. There are adventure packs, there's hero packs, there's monster packs, um, and this is an adventure pack. So what do we get in here? Well, you'll be getting some new monsters that you can populate uh, the rest of the game with, as well as this one, and you're going to get a bunch of tiles and a new um, mini kind of side quest campaign. And what I like about this is this basically will be going into... Um, fitting into like the campaign so that you play the main campaign a couple of those and then you can after a certain chapter you can then go to the rune of Lucanor. uh i am going to get all this stuff painted up so that when we get to this point in the campaign we can do this entire um this entire kind of expansion and we will do a review to uh to tell you what we think of the rune of Lucanor. so here's the adventure book Um, and it kind of tells you what kind of components you're getting in here. Um, and then we go through the adventure itself. And you've got all your kind of like interactions. So we've got two chapters here. And then a special battleground, the fall of the sea wing. And then the adventure interactions there, which we're going to skip past so I don't spoil anything for us. And yeah, so that, that's it. So you've got a um, special battlefield and you've got uh, a couple of chapters there. Or two chapters, but anyway. Um, so you get those. Then we've got our miniatures. Let's take a quick look at these guys. So we've got two types. We've got these kind of like siren -y kind of creatures. And we have these big... Um, yeah, sea creatures. I always like a sea creature kind of theme. Uh, we've got a bunch of cards in here as well, which are specific to this adventure. But like I say, you can use these components in the rest of the game. And what I'm planning on doing is I'll just use the base stuff until we get to this uh, this campaign. And then we'll uh, unlock the Ravagers um, and the Lady Claws. Um, yeah. So these guys cleave and poison. And look down, they're resistant to fire and slow. And the Ravagers, they're just immune to fire. And they're shielding themselves, bleeding and fatiguing. So you've got white and grey monster varieties. There are no black monsters in here. We have our chapter cards. It looks like there's three in there. Our door cards, even. Uh, then we've got the actual uh, the Lucanor itself, uh, which is the name of the ship, I believe. I don't know. It might not be. It's like uh, spike pits. We've got larvary kind of area and poisony kind of area. Then some darkness and some really cool ship art as well. There's some slightly bigger larvae bits and some poison. Darkness and the ship. And then some more water tiles and the ship as well. Finally, we have some more lava, some more poison, some more water. And that looks pretty much the same as the water tile out of the very first scenario. Uh, and then we've got uh, some more ship stuff. And it, it all looks pretty cool. And that's it, guys. That's everything you get inside here. So, um, yeah, this is just going to be fleshing out your game. And I know from the, the bit I've played this so far... Um, there's a few expansions out for this game, and I wasn't sure 
whether I should just buy them all straight away or just uh, play the game first. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to play the game before I actually buy any expansions, just in case I don't like the game. And then I played the game, and then I was like, oh my god, I really want to get these expansions. Uh, the fact that these uh, this adventure pack is actually inserted into the uh, yeah into the kind of uh, the quest itself. Uh, I think that's a pretty interesting idea, uh, and yeah, looking forward to uh, giving the uh, the Ruin of Lucanor a uh, a go because I'm a big fan of like piratical uh, kind of aquatic themes. So uh, we'll see how we get on with this. Um, yeah, if you've if you enjoy this video, then stay tuned to the channel because we will be filming this in its entirety. We'll also be painting up the miniatures and showing them off on the uh, Instagram. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to uh, stay tuned to the channel, then please subscribe or consider becoming a member where you can help support us to get some of these really funky games. Uh, I've been the ever excitable lab. Until next time, stay safe or die rolling.